snowball. So you guys saw a lot of this, a lot of no sound. Probably saw a lot of no sound. Um, let us know if that fixed it. Did that fix it? Can you guys hear us? All right, Jennifer, Ronnie, Roy, can you all hear us now? Does it sound good? If so, ask us questions. Ask your questions related to e-commerce, Facebook, Shopify, um, mindset, anything you guys want in this challenge, go ahead and ask us questions. Um, feel free to dive in. We'll give you all about a minute to jump on. I guess there was no sound in the first section there. So we'll give you about a minute to jump on. And what we're going to do is, is Peter, we'll just kind of look at the comments here. And then um, command tab right there pulls back up the video when you're, yeah. when you're asking. So we'll be able to kind of look at both. And like Chris said, shared earlier, you know, keep your questions positively framed, right? So you might have a challenge. You might have a struggle. You have a question. Frame it in a way that you know you're looking for advice, you're looking for ideas, but not from a stance of you know complaining or being a victim. You're the victor, right? I think that's really important. Have the right frame, the right mindset in the midst of maybe a challenge, a struggle, something you have a question with, right? So we're going to be looking at the questions. We're here live from Utah uh, at actually the airport. We're flying back to Scottsdale. Uh, so I uh, hope you guys are enjoying your, you know, your day so far. This is again day 36 of the 90 day e-com challenge. We're going to do a live Q&A here right now with Chris Record and myself. Uh, just answering your questions as it relates to Facebook advertising, it relates to obviously selling products on Shopify, as it relates to you know the three zero uh, strategy or the Instagram viral videos, a lot of the things that we've been talking about inside the challenge. So that being said, let's you know let's kick let's this dive off. in. Okay, so there's a question here about a Facebook ads account being banned. Um, if you have had a Facebook ads account being banned, um, this is something that can and will happen. Um, the first things first is learn from it. Anytime that something bad happens, you gotta reframe it and look at it as a positive. You get to learn from it. So a lot of times we wanna feel like we're innocent. A lot of times we wanna feel like, oh my God, our accounts got banned for no reason. But if you think it happened for no reason, you won't dive in and find out why. So what I want you to do is go in and try to find out why your account may have got banned um, and talk to your ads rep and look through and try to figure it out. Second, if your ad account does get banned, instead of just posting, I see people post in the group all the time, my ad account is banned, please help. Well, no one's gonna be able to help. No one here is gonna be able to help. What you need to do is you need to be as specific as possible. If you received an email from Facebook, take a screenshot of the email and try to find out exactly what it is. Go into your account, identify exactly what it is and then go post those screenshots as a post in the group and say, hey guys, I received this from Facebook today saying that my ads account was banned. They're saying that it's banned for these reasons. Can anybody help me out? I'm willing to post screenshots. If you guys tell me what you need to see, I'm willing to do whatever. If you post like that and you kind of do it in a positive manner and say, hey listen, I'm not complaining, I must have done something wrong. If anybody has any advice or any help, I'd love your feedback so I can get this resolved. And if you preach, uh, approach it in a positive manner, then um, that's a great way to be able to do it. And it's, and it's a way that you know, you'll add value to the group. So I mean, we get questions all the time. You know, obviously, we're, the 90 Day Ecom Challenge group is growing as a time recording, you know, we're 12, 13,000 members and growing every single day. We get hundreds and hundreds of posts, questions per day. We can't ask them or post them all. So if you want your question posted, Okay, for the group to be able to share, to contribute, and for the group to learn, frame your questions right. Not only on a Q&A live like this, but if you're posting and then wanting to make a question in the group, have that right context and you're gonna have a much higher likelihood of getting your questions seen, answered, etc. Yeah, that's a good one here is that somebody's question says that my, <clears throat> on your topic you're saying, my questions that I post in the group aren't getting approved. Okay, so let's talk about this. If you have a question, you have to ask your question with as much detail as possible. Provide screenshots, multiple screenshots if you can. You can't just ask a general question like, hey, my store doesn't have any sales, can anybody help me? Because if we post that in the group, no one will be able to help you, so that won't get approved. What, what the uh, moderators are looking for is uh, posts that add value to the group. So keep it positive, keep it very, very specific. Do not ask general questions. Try to be very, very specific. Give as much information as you can and ask the question to the group. Don't ask the question to Chris Record. Don't ask the question, ask the question to the group and say, hey, is, if anybody, has anybody run into this problem? Here's some screenshots. You know, use a program that you can like put arrows on your screenshots. This group is a very powerful tool, but there's about like 500 posts a day that you've seen how many posts is crazy, so right? Many. About 500 posts a day and only about 50 of them get approved. So only about 10% of the posts get approved and that's because 90% of them, people are asking them in a way that would not add value to the group. So if you want your post to get approved, ask value. I can't tell you how many times people just go, hey, uh, can somebody review my store? And then they post a link to their store. No, we can't post that, okay? You've gotta, have, you've gotta be adding value to the group, okay? Yeah, Here's, I think this is a good, good question, Muhammad David Jones. 
tips to find hot products to sell because it seems like a lot of people just take the same products. And I think it's important because a lot of you guys might see a product or you see an example or something and then all of a sudden everyone's trying to promote and market that product versus being creative, finding creative ways to, to really do product research, really diving in, spending the time and energy on the creative thinking mind to find something unique, find something within a niche. Maybe you're passionate about, about a particular niche, but you know, I can you know virtually guarantee, Chris, obviously you can expand on this, that no matter what the niche is, there's going to be something that could be a hot product, a trending product, but you don't know if you don't spend the time to do that product research and you don't spend the time to test a variety of products as well, obviously. Yeah, you want to shotgun approach a variety of products. Here's a question um, right here. Is it possible to get your product in front of people without running ads. Currently I have a store, but no budget for ads at the moment. Yeah, absolutely, do YouTube videos, uh, do social media posts, um, SEO optimize your posts so they can be found in Google. Um, you can possibly go and join groups that are related to it and without spamming the group, find a way to be able to um, to be able to post it there in the group. If it doesn't look like an advertisement, if it comes across a social thing, like an example would be write a blog post on your store that's very, very valuable and then share that blog post in a group. So if you go to a group that's like for animal rescue dogs, uh, you know, that people are like rescuing a certain breed of dogs, write a blog post that says like, here are 10, um, 10 of the best sources uh, for the types of dog rescue, or here's 10 of the best practices for that. Write that blog post on your blog and then share it in that group, and now you're driving traffic to your blog that can eventually turn into, um, that can eventually turn into uh, traffic to your store. So there's lots of ways. Product reviews is a great way. Um, <clears throat> you know, basically, pictures of the products. You could do reviews even just using pictures of the products. Make little videos. You could use YouTube and Google and social media sites. Great way to drive traffic. Um, Let's see, what's another one? When starting a new ad, should I optimize for add to cart or view content? You know, there's lots of different strategies, Tobias, with that question. Um, if you watched my training yesterday on advanced advertising, I like to run a page post engagement ad, an add to cart, and a purchase ad. So I like to run three. The reason that I, uh, Damien teaches that he likes to run two, add to cart and purchase. The reason I like to run three is because I like to invest $5 a day towards um, boosting the post, getting it more likes, care, uh, comments, and shares, giving it a little bit more activity, and then when people see it, it looks a little bit more popular. So that's what I like to do. I usually, um, I usually start there and, uh, and go from there. But there's so many different ways to advertise. That would have to be in its whole different talk. Peter Chan is giving some advice here on, by the way, Peter, thanks for stopping in and thanks for giving free advice. Uh, Peter's saying for free traffic, Facebook groups, uh, which we covered, build an Instagram account and, and build an Instagram following, get PayPal credit for ads. So he's basically saying, hey, maybe you can pay for ads, just use PayPal credit. And remember, um, Facebook is fronting the money. So even if you don't have money for ads, Facebook's fronting the money and then you're paying off the bill. So you might be able to get a new ads account set up with a $25 budget and hey, at least you got like five five dollar um, ads. Yeah. Maybe you can make some sales off of that. I'm gonna I'm gonna address this point. You know, some people have shared like, well, I'm not sure I can do this, or you know, I don't know if you know people are willing to wait more than ten days to receive their product. Guys, people every single day it's just it's an excuse. The fact of the matter is people are making massive amounts of sales, massive amounts of money in this community and really all over the world that products are shipping out in two to three weeks, whatever, from international warehouses, you know, due to high demand. I mean, the fact of the matter is, don't let things like that stop you. Again, that's a mindset. That don't let little things like that be a blocker from taking action, following the training, and taking action. You guys, if this didn't work, we wouldn't be in here dedicating our time teaching you how to do it. So don't allow yourself to make excuses as to why it won't work. Clearly, there are plenty of results. Uh, so clearly, it is working. In fact, Kickstarter, I ordered something off of Kickstarter, and I received it six months later. And yeah. I was completely happy with it, okay? There's entire models where you, pay, you purchase products that don't even exist yet. You're basically just chipping in on the developer to make the product and you're gonna receive it months later. Right. People don't mind. Um, when we launched Techademics, um, we were selling our school uh, months and months in advance to our first school and people didn't mind, millions of dollars in sales. So listen, whatever is in your mind, it's just an obstacle, remind yourself, People are having success. Don't allow blockers to come up in your mind like that. Okay, do you want to just go back and forth or do you want me to uh, sure, jump in here? Yeah, either way. Okay, um, Brandon Smith says, what should the PPE numbers look like to adjust to conversions? Brandon, um, <clears throat> what I look for is 
when I run a page post engagement ad, it's like a, it's like a feeler. It's like you're throwing out a $5 feeler. Are people engaging with this post? If they're not engaging with it, I probably won't even run conversion ads to it. If you, if you, let's say you have like a yeah. t-shirt design. Let's say you, you design a, let's say you're doing print on a man, you have a t-shirt design. Run a, run a $5 page post engagement ad with the design and say, would you wear this? Tag a friend who would wear this. If nobody's tagging friends and if nobody's commenting, something's probably wrong. You might think the design is good. It's probably, you, you know, your targeting's off, your design's off. A page post engagement ad is a way to be able to engage with your potential buyers and see if they would be interested in that product. So use page post engagement as a feeler. Right. So the metrics you're looking for are likes, comments, shares, tagging of friends, video views. And then what you wanna do is you wanna look and see how cheap you're getting it. If you're paying like 25 cents just to get an engagement, it's not any good. But if you're paying like a penny to get an engagement or somewhere around there, then you know it's like, wow, I got low cost engagement and to a targeted audience, people like this, that's like a, that's like a clue that you can run conversion ads. That would be, that's a, obviously when it comes to advertising, pretty much everything works. I could do the exact opposite of somebody's advice and probably still succeed. You know, Peter Chan, who just came out here with free traffic, Peter's advertising strategy is probably different than my advertising strategy, but both could still work. So at the end of the day, just get out there and experiment. Well, it's one, of, one of the things I learned a long time ago, a classic saying, this is everything works, nothing doesn't. Okay, write that down. Everything works, nothing doesn't. Meaning at the end of the day, everything can work. You can make literally anything work, right? But you know, nothing doesn't. If you don't do anything, you're not gonna get any results, right? So no matter what it is, whether it's free traffic strategies, paid traffic strategies, whether it's Facebook, whether it's Instagram, whether it's YouTube, whether it's you know, SEO and blogging, everything can work. The, the key is what are you going to commit to? What are you gonna to commit to focusing on and, and really learning and developing <coughs> skill sets and mastering, right? The fact of the matter is you can create success selling products online to people from all over the world uh, with any strategy, with any one or two strategies that you commit to really mastering. You know, Chris, you know, a few years ago, really mastered the, the code of Facebook, you know, paid scalable traffic with Facebook. Before that, but guess what? Before that we did, you know, free traffic strategies on Facebook and free and SEO and free YouTube video marketing as a way to create traffic leads and sales in our businesses for a long time. So no matter what it is, I mean, again, everything works, nothing doesn't. Just take massive action on something and do whatever it takes for as long as it takes. So Rick says, we are at Techademics today. Hey, if anybody is watching live from Techademics, you probably should get back in your, uh, in your class. But yeah, yeah. if you're watching live from Techademics, let us know in the comments. Mark Gleeman says, hi guys, CPS is rocking. We have right now, while we're in Utah, there's hundreds of people. Um, at our uh, corporate headquarters at our campus and they're going through classes. That's pretty awesome. Deb, Deb Nath says, hey Chris, how can I get all the training? Here in the group, if you go to the um, first post, the one that is the sticky post, um, it's the one that's stuck at the top, that has all the training in it. That's funny, we should talk about that. Um, <clears throat> Leslie says, a question, Sunny and Co. just literally blew up overnight. Is there anything they did wrong or right that you could speak on? Yes, yeah, Sunny and Co. is the swimsuit, um, viral campaign that hit Instagram. And the, um, the thing that they did right was they ran a viral campaign and got 500,000 followers in one single day. The thing that they did wrong was they didn't have terms um, clearly set for their um, giveaway. What they basically said was, hey, if you do this, these social actions, if you like and share this post or whatever and tag us, then we will give you one of these bathing suits for free. They should have been a little bit more clear. They should have said, we'll give it to you for free, just pay shipping. Um, so it's a little misleading. And then in their, in their terms, in their contest rules, they should have been very clear about the amount of people that would qualify for this. Yeah. They would say, hey, the first, you know, we have 500 bathing suits in stock. We can only guarantee the first 500. What happened was they got something like um, tens of thousands yeah. of orders and they can't fulfill that. And so it's, it's tricky. They should have been a little bit more clear, but they didn't know. They're a couple of college kids. I'd give them a break. They probably are, are going to get sued over... Um, unhappy customers. And then also, um, they gave a Shopify coupon code, but they didn't test it properly. And when people were entering in the Shopify coupon code, it wasn't applying the discount. And so some people were paying full price. Now they have to refund that. That's going to be a headache. And, it, and for all I know, we don't know what's really going on. They probably also had their merchant account frozen, is my guess. When you do that kind of volume that fast, merchants yeah. don't like it. So there probably is a lot they're doing wrong. If we were to do something like that on a small scale, like, hey, you know, um, do this social media activity, like tag, the, tag three friends in this post and we're gonna pick you know, 20 people and we're gonna give them a, one of these for free, a $60 bathing suit for free. Um, we're good, thank you. We give them a $60 bathing suit for free, just pay shipping. Okay, so you guys, we're gonna go for a few more minutes. For those of you wanting international, the reason we haven't done the international training yet is because we've been, um, 
working a deal with a company, with a third party company that actually helps set up people for international. So instead of just teaching everybody, we're working with a company that actually does hands on and, and sets you up. Yeah. So we're in the final phase. I think this week we'll be able to release that. We're just in the final phase of setting that up. That way they can set you up. If you're an international person and you want to sell in the United States and, and accept payments in the United States and have an EIN number and a bank account and an address and stuff like that. We have a company to set all that up. So stay tuned for the international training. Um, <clears throat> thanks for those of you that are in different time zones and you're watching late. Do I recommend any books? Um, yeah, I mean, there's tons of books. Uh, you know, what I do is this. With books, choose one topic you want to learn and get a book for that topic. Okay, if you want to learn sales, go get a sales book. If you want to learn e-commerce, go get an e-commerce book. If you want to learn Facebook advertising, get a Facebook advertising book. Get a book specific to a topic. Be very topic specific and there's hundreds of books to recommend. So just choose a topic that you want to learn. Go on to Amazon and go get a book with Two Day Prime. Let's see. Brandon Smith says they still made that brand blow up. Yeah, so going back to Sonny & Co. If those two guys at Arizona State can handle the negativity they're going to receive, the hate they're going to receive, the, the massive publicity. If they can handle this and get through this, then they have the, the foundation of a brand that can be a multi-million dollar company. So they have the potential right. to do this. But a lot of people break under this stress. Okay, So this is going to be a test for them. If they don't break under the stress, then they can uh, potentially be pretty big. Let's see. Okay, our food is here. We're gonna we're gonna wrap this up. We'll do five minutes. It's smelling good, guys. Five five minutes, and we'll wrap this up. Let's see. Yeah, international people, we got you. We got some great training coming to you. Like Chris said, we are working on the final stages of this deal to not only be able to train you, but to give you some really cool kind of do it with you and done for you resources. And uh, we want to take care of our community. So we, we always work on creating the best possible deal. Just like everyone that's here on the 98 Ecom Challenge, you have the ability to get your Shopify store half off for three months. No one else, you know, nowhere else can you get that. Uh, so I want you guys to know, realize everything we do is strategic to really help you in the best possible way, give you the best tools, the best training, the best support to really help you succeed. Awesome. So there's a question here. Um, David says, I was running an ad a week ago. The cost was two cents. Today it's five cents. What's happening? All I changed was the budget to a higher one. That's exactly what's happening. Yeah. Don't change the budgets on your ads. When you guys edit your ads and change the budgets, it's like starting the ad over from scratch. So if you have an ad that's performing well, keep it running. If you want to increase the budget, then what you need to do is create a new ad. But keep that existing ad running. Do not edit it. Do not change it. Because when you change it, it starts it over again. So when you have an ad that's successful, keep it running. Start up a new ad. So what I do is if I have a $5 a day ad that's doing well, I'll create a new $5 a day ad. And then if that one's doing well, I'll create another one. Pretty soon I have 10 of them. Now I'm doing $50 a day. That's better than one ad at $50 a day. Yeah. Let's see. All right. So many questions coming real quick. Um, somebody says, can you talk about Facebook bans and how we can farm accounts? Do not farm accounts. Do, you guys, don't do anything black hat. If Facebook is banning your account, there's a reason they are banning your account. Yeah. Step one, find out what that reason is so you don't keep making the mistake. If you have to farm accounts, then you're doing something black hat. You shouldn't be doing it. So you've got to find out why. So first things first, if you have a Facebook banned account, take a bunch of screenshots as to the ads you are running, the message you're getting from Facebook, what you're doing. Don't try to be innocent. What people do all the time is go, oh my God, I did nothing wrong and Facebook banned my account. Listen, they don't just ban your account for nothing. I used to think that way too, but I would look in and I would basically, there's always a reason. They don't just ban accounts. And if they banned it on accident, then they'll, then they'll turn it back on. So find out why it's banned and stop doing it. You should never need to farm accounts because we don't teach black hat marketing here. We teach proper, structured, real business marketing. So you should never need to farm accounts or buy any accounts or anything like that. Tobias, yeah, did you say international sellers can get a U.S. bank account? Yes, we're working right now with a company that can set international sellers up with a USA business, and that's going to help explode a lot of uh, revenue for a lot of you that are international. So that's why we've been waiting. We were going to do it last week. We just need to finalize this. For those of you that are international, you guys are about to kill it. So listen, our food is uh, going to get cold. One more minute, you guys. Let's rapid fire maybe a couple questions. Um, Allah says, I'm a newbie. What's your advice? Go through the trainings. You know, we, every single day we train. Learn, learn, learn. Learn as much as possible. The knowledge is going to help you avoid mistakes. Um, Mustafa says, hey, Chris, I can't find a good product. Everything is failing. What's your advice? Go back through the videos. Watch the videos in their entirety where we teach you how to find good products. There's gold in there. Uh, 
Let's see, last questions. Um, no, we've not used Reddit ads. Yuji says, should I really run page post engagement and CPC ads to test one product? Also, if I don't get much engagement on the first day, should I stop running? I, it's a different strategy. I always run engagement to test out the ad. I always run engagement. It's like a little way to get some clues. So I'll usually run engagement for a day or two prior to running conversion ads. But there's some instances where I'll run a $5 a day PPE, $5 a day add to cart, $5 a day purchase. And I let those run for f about four days each. So what you're looking at is you're looking at $15 a day for four days at $60, but I can afford to do that because there's a chance you might lose the $60 incredibly, but that's what this is. It's I'm fishing. I lose 50 here, lose 50 there, lose 50 here, lose 50 there, and then boom, one hits. You have to be, guys, you have to be comfortable. You have to be willing to understand. You have to be willing to lose money to make more money. And it's not losing money. You're, inv you're investing, you're getting market data. You're getting market research. It's like Chris said, you might have a few of those losers, but then you have a one winner that pays for it all and so many, and you make a lot of money. So you have to be willing to invest a little bit to get that market, re to do that market research, right? To get that data, to see what can be a winner. And you know, it's, it's no different than in any other business or any other thing. All it takes is one winner to, to offset, you know, several losers, five, 10 losers, uh, you know, in your business, right? that one product can make you 90% of your revenue out of 100 products that you're selling. Awesome, so we are wrapped up, you guys. It's been fun going live with you here from the airport. Look forward to seeing you on the next 90-day challenge, that you guys. Uh, we're ready to take things to the next level with you. Hopefully you guys enjoy these little Q&A sessions. Uh, but we've gotta go, our food is here, our food's getting cold, we gotta jump off. Hopefully you enjoyed us spending time with you even while we're at the airport. All right, guys, take care.